Hey, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the IELTS Everyday channel. Today, our 71 lesson. The 71 lesson in Streamline Departure. Brutus Gray, the greatest. Brutus Gray, it is the boxer. This boxer is the greatest. And first, before diving into the lesson, we We'll look at the drama, the drama section first, as usual. Now, page 320, 320. It is four, it is four, and the present perfect tense. The question is, how long have you been the champion? And we answer that question by giving the time. Giving the time, how long? We use the preposition for to tell the time, to tell the length of time. Or after that, we will tell the number of time, one time, two times, three times. So for one time, it is once, two, twi two times, it is twice, and three times, it is three times. So, how long have you been the champion? I've been the champion for, for 10 years. I've been the champion for 3 weeks. Or I've been the champion for 2 hours only. And if it is an action happened in the past and we don't know the exact the exact time, the exact period of time up until now. So we can say, how long have you been the champion? We can answer, I've been, I have been champion once, or I have beaten him once, or um, he's been, or he has beaten them twice, or he has beaten them three times, just a number of a time. Okay, now, we repeat together the vocabularies, very important. Greatest, greatest. Afraid, afraid. To beat, beat. And beaten, beat, beat, beaten. Boxer, boxer. Fit, fit. KO, knock out. Knock out. It is KO. To retire. Retire. The second syllable. Fight. Ugliest. Ugliest. Or a fight. The rate is a fry. Beaten. Boxer. Fit. KO. Retire. Fight. Or the ugliest. The, the ugliest. Now, you repeat some dropper names, some dropper names. Brutus, Brutus Cray, Brutus Cray, Joe Freezer, Joe Freezer, Len Cotton, Len Cotton, Drocker, Drocker Feller. The dropper nouns, some, some dropper nouns, the Concord. Kong, Kong, the Boeing, and the expression, someone is the greatest, so to be the greatest, to be afraid of someone, to be afraid of someone, sometimes, sometimes, mouse, don't, don't, don't get afraid by, by cat, so we can say mouse often mouse are often afraid of cats, but sometimes cats are afraid of, of mice. To KO to knock out. To KO to knock out. And now we will analyze we will analyze our dialogue. It is a dialogue between a reporter, okay, a reporter, 
and Brutus Gray. This guy is God. Is Brutus Gray. So he said, I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. But he said, You were, you were the greatest, Brutus. But you're 10 years old and show freezer. Your, you are 10 years older. You are 10 years, but 10 years how? Older than Joe Fraser. Okay? And when Cry heard about Joe Fraser, Joe Fraser, I'm not afraid of Joe Fraser. He is not afraid of him. Really? Listen. I've beaten him twice. I have beaten Joe Fraser two times. So twice. And I'm going to beat him again. I am going to beat him again in the future. Okay, another time again. Are you sure? So this reporter really isn't sure. He is not sure. So he asked, Are you sure? Is Brutus Gray sure of beating Joe Fraser again in the future? So he said, Sure, of course I'm sure. And some people say he's better than you. And of course, he gave more information, uh, the information that the, the, the authors talked about, talked about uh, this guy. Some people say, Joe Freezer is better than, than Brutus Gray. Listen, he answered. I've beaten all the best boxers. I have beaten all the best boxers. All the best boxers. All the best boxers. And Joe Freezer is one of the worst. Joe Freezer is one of, one of the, the worst. But he is better than he was. Joe Freezer is better now than he used to be. Than he was. And Gray, um, okay, has nothing to say, but he, 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 he tell. Listen, he is stronger, I am stronger, I am faster, I am fitter to be fit, get fitter, he is fitter. And he is more intelligent than him. He is more intelligent than him. Okay? Yes, but he KO Len Cotton two months ago. But he knocked, he knocked out Len Cotton two months ago. Len Cotton, I have KO'd him three times. I have to cry. He's KO'd. Len Cotton three times. Okay, okay, Brutus. Are you going to retire after this fight? Retire? No, I've been the champion for 10 years. He has been the champion for 10 years. Okay, and I'm going to stay the champion for another 10 years. He intends... He intends to, to stay, to keep the title, to keep the title, to keep the champion title, okay? And I am going to stay the champion for another 10, another 10 years. Joe Freezer doesn't think so, okay? Joe Freezer again, Joe Freezer is the ugliest man in the world, and after tonight, he's going to need a new face, okay? I'll repeat all of the dialogue again so that you can have a a, a listen, and uh, maybe you can use this as a dictation for you. I'm the greatest. You were the greatest, Brutus, but you're ten years older than Joe Freezer. Joe Freezer. I'm not afraid of Joe Freezer. Really? Listen, I've beaten him twice. And I'm going to beat him again. Are you sure? Sure, of course I'm sure. Some people say he's better than you. Listen, I've beaten all the best boxers and Joe Freezer's one of the worst. Yes, but he's better than he was. Listen, 
am stronger, faster, fitter, and more intelligent than him. Yes, but he KO'd Len Cotton two months ago. Len Cotton, I've KO'd him three times. Okay, okay, Brutus, are you going to retire after this fight? Retire? No, I've been the champion for 10 years and I'm going to stay the champion another time. Joe Freezer doesn't think so. Joe Freezer? Joe Freezer is the, the ugliest man in the world after not tonight. He's going to need a new face. Okay. Now, we will answer some, some questions. Is Brutus older than Joe Freezer? Yes, he is. Is he afraid of Joe Freezer? No, he isn't. Has he beaten him before? Yes, he has. How many times? How many times? Uh, twice or three times? I don't remember. At least twice. Has he beaten all the boxes? Yes, he has. Which boxes has he beaten? Um, he has beaten um, Ke Len Cotton and is Joe Fisher worse than he was or better than he was? Um, he is better now. Has hey, Joe Fisher beaten Len Cotton? Yes, he has. Uh, when, when did Joe Freezer beat Len Cotton? Um, uh, we don't remember here, but uh, just with, uh, two months ago, okay? Two months ago, uh, is Brutus going to retire? No, he isn't. How long has he been the champion? He has been the champion for 10 years. Now, very good. For our exercise, you have three sentences. So, the example are here. Joe Freezer is very ugly, okay? And he's uglier than Brutus Gray, and he is the ugliest man in the world. Rockefeller is rich, is very rich. He is richer than the teacher, or he is richer than any teacher. He is the richest man in the world. And this airplane, the Concorde, Concorde is a fast airplane, or Concorde is very fast. Um, it is faster than a Boeing. The Concorde is faster than a Boeing. It is the fastest, the fastest in the world. It is the fastest airplane in the world. Mount Everest. Mount Everest is very high. It's very, very, extremely high. Extremely high. And it is higher. It's higher than Mont Blanc. Higher than Mont Blanc. And it is the highest mount or the highest mountain, mount in the world. And here you have a Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce is very comfortable. It's very comfortable. And it is more comfortable than a Mini. Okay? And it's in the most comfortable car in the world. Brutus Gray. Here you have a photo of Brutus Gray. Brutus Gray is very good. He is better than Joe Freezer and he is the, the best in, in the world. I think now it is time that you open your book. I'll explain some taxes, text in the books. And then it's done for our lesson. It's done afterwards. So now page uh page three hundred twenty-two. Page three hundred twenty-two. I'll repeat um I'll repeat the language summary. How long have you been the champion? I've been the champion for ten years. Or he's has been the champion for three weeks, or you know, he's been the champion for two hours. Or how long have you been the champion? Uh, we can say, I've beaten him once, or he's beaten them twice, or he's beaten them three times. And then the vocabulary. Journalist, journalist, country, country, Sue Webb, Sue Webb, journalist, country, 
Sue Webb. Here, for the exercise number two, you know that Sue Webb is a journalist. She lives in England, but she often visits other countries. And we asked the question, how many times has she been to France? How many times? She's been there three times. She's been there three times. And the information here, we ask about her Australia. So we maybe we can ask, um, how many times has she been to Australia? Um, she's been there a lot of times. Uh, Argentina too. So we can ask her, uh, how many times has she been to Argentina? She has been to Argentina a lot of times too. Okay, that's just some example. And now we move to the exercise number three. Uh, the title is, he is, for now, at the moment, he is in Paris. And he went there three weeks ago. So, we know that three weeks, okay, three weeks ago. And he is now in Paris. So we can use the present perfect tense for these two sentences to make one, to make only one, only one sentence. He has been in Paris for three weeks. He has been in Paris for three weeks. So the pattern is like that. Now we dive into the answer. He's here now. He came two hours ago. So he's been here. He has been here. For, for two hours, okay? Number two, he is in the bank and he arrived 10 minutes ago. He's arrived 10 minutes ago, so so the t number of time is 10 minutes, okay? So he's been in the bank, he's been in the bank, okay? For 10 minutes, for 10 minutes. Number three, he's in Argentina now. He went five years ago, he went five years ago, so he's been in Argentina for for five years. Number four, he's at home now. He arrived an hour ago, an hour ago. So we say he's been at home. He has been at home for for an hour, for just an hour. Number five, he's here now. He came ten days ago. So he's been here for ten days. He has been here for for 10 days. Now, that's good. You move maintenant, you move right now to the exercise number four. He's the champion of the world. We asked this information. We asked about this information. How long has he been the champion of the world? So we continue. They are in dress. So how long have they been in dress? Number two, she says work. So we ask, how long has she been at work? Number three, he's the director of the school. So we ask, how long has he been the director of the school? Number four, they're in England. So how long have they been in England? Number five, John's at school. We ask, we ask information about him. How long has John been at school? Just that's, just that's it. So, Try, try to make a pause, try to make a pause and understand the lesson because it's very interesting, this kind of question, um, this kind of information and um, the present perfect tense is very, very useful for you. Um, I hope that you try to listen to more and more and uh, keep uh, subscribed to uh, the channel to receive more, uh, more lessons. Um, you know that this is nearly the end of um, our Streamline Departures book. Uh, we will move on to uh, the second book, um, not long, in in very short time. So um, try try your best to use the maximum amount of uh, um, information in the first book to make uh, to repair yourself a solid foundation uh, foundation in English. Okay, I love you all. I leave you here. See you in the next lessons.